Hello and welcome to the Praise in the Basement talk show. We're so glad you could join us again for another episode. I'm your host, Adebukola Bita, and I have the joy of sharing the stage with Isaiah Kofi and his son Jude, also known as Jude Key's official on YouTube. You might have seen him playing piano. Um, at this point, he is bordering on prodigy status, um, but take a look for yourselves. So I want to know how this piano playing came about, if we can start there, or maybe I can share this. So um, <clears throat> I am actually a drummer. I've been playing the drums at church for um, some time now. And uh, because of that, actually, uh, my dream was to be able to play for play on a big stage like the mega churches and everything okay but uh since i couldn't mm -hmm. uh do that i thought of uh, um letting my kids do that so i know i'm a drummer but i bought all the instruments drums guitar keyboard and then put them in the house so full band yes okay so Yep. They um, started playing the drums. <clears throat> they were all playing, and uh, at some point, sometimes they would just be hitting the keyboards just for hitting sake. Mm -hmm. So it went on for a while. He's been playing the drums for a while. He's been learning everything. He's mm -hmm. a good drummer. And until, I was self-taught. Yes. I until was one day, I was at uh, the living room watching the news. And then I heard him play uh, something on the keyboard in the basement. So I just got my phone and went down there and I'm like, Jude, what are you playing? And uh, play that again. Let me see, let me hear. So he started playing and uh, I know your viewers will get to see a video of him to how it all started mm -hmm. on the keyboard, on the piano. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he played that song again and I took a video of it so since then, I'll be sitting in the living room watching news and I'll see him looking into uh, keyboards, like the professional ones, learning how they function and all okay. the and uh, stuff features, in there, yeah. the features and everything. Mm. So one day I saw him looking at one of them after the video and uh, I called him and I said, Jude, do you like that keyboard? And uh, he said, yes. So I'm like, based on what I heard him play, I'm like, let me give it a shot and mm -hmm. see. So uh, that time, that keyboard was a thousand five. Yep, thousand five dollars. So I uh, just uh, called my son Denzel to bring my, me my wallet, mm -hmm. and I just uh, brought out my card and filled everything in, and then I called him to come and hit play, mm -hmm. uh, place order. Oh. So which he did. Oh, Jude did himself. Yeah, Jude did yeah. himself. Okay. So he started screaming here and there for it, and then started looking through the window for the mm -hmm. FedEx yeah. truck and everything. Oh. So as soon as the keyboard arrived, mm -hmm. which of course again your viewers will get to see uh, that video of him, the first time he got his hands mm -hmm. on the. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna have a live session at the end. So stay tuned. MOXF six keyboard. MOXF. So that very day okay. he got that keyboard. That's when he took off. Yeah, that's when I took off. Yeah, and he's self-taught. He took off, just learned everything on his own. Nothing. I got to sign him up on uh, one Playground of the online sessions. online uh, keyboard stuff, but okay. he didn't even get to do it. So that he took off just like that. Yeah. Wow. And, and, and yeah. that's why I got a big toy, the Roland Phantom. Oh, is yeah. that like a fancier piano? Yeah, a fancier okay. piano and okay. stuff, yeah. How long has he been playing? Uh, so it's almost a year now. Yeah, yeah like eleven months until now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Almost a year. And it's all self-taught. He did all everything by himself. Glory to God. Yeah. Amen. 
that's that's important that is important um so tell us how you got involved with the studio how you got to know um praise in the basement so again um uh god richly blessed uh the management team and everybody involved because uh uh, it is unthinkable for somebody to just do all this for free, okay? <laughs> so how this thing happened is that, and again, this is from our, the bottom of our heart, that uh, the good Lord blesses uh, the team and the good work you guys are doing. And let's stress on this fact that it's all mm. for free. You know, just using all these equipment and time and uh, all that to do this for free to put people out there. So, God it, richly bless it you is guys. Really so, what happened Thank was you. back to your question is we happened to go to uh, rehearsals at uh, a certain church and uh, we met uh, one guy who is a, a saxophonist, the guy mm -hmm. who plays the saxophone. Mike. So, he called me aside and said, Hey, I have a team. Uh, praising the basement team and uh, I think uh, we will need your son as a keyboardist so just like that I couldn't believe it so I'm like okay so we stayed in touch mm -hmm. and then he gave us the time that we can come in for the first meeting and uh, we did and God being so good we the very first day we set foot here we were you know accepted into open caring hands we were received as a family we get to eat do everything like we've yeah. known them forever so mm -hmm. it was through that uh, saxophonist that we got to know uh, about uh, this place and it's been of a great help and we are so grateful yep yeah mm, so grateful <laughs> you know um yeah this is all you know all glory to god as jude yes aptly yeah. said earlier um we do give god the glory and we invite you viewers um for those of you that are in the denver metro area or even swinging by in colorado um to come check us out this studio is for free zion hills ministry is a 501c3 corporation nonprofit. so um you know this is all just we're just trying to make this vision come alive and have a platform for worship ministers to come and you know to express their gift express their um the gift that god has given them for free so we invite you and you can check out more information on our links below so now music aside i know there's a deeper story here about god's grace and you know jude is a special child there's more to this story um can you tell us more about that yes um uh, when he was conceived, we did the normal thing everybody does, going on uh, appointments here and there. Mm -hmm. Until one day we got to the doctor's office and they were telling us that uh, I think he wasn't getting enough oxygen or something. It's been a while, so but mm -hmm. the whole point is uh, he wasn't doing well, so he had to come out right there and then. So uh, we were rushed to um, uh, Rose Medical. Mm -hmm here in Denver and uh, the C-section happened. Okay. And uh, so he came out very tiny and uh, he had a um, uh, feeding tube in his mouth and he I was in, the, uh, in his nose, sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was in the incubator and all those stuff. So they were taking good care of him at uh, Rose Medical. They did a mm -hmm. great job. But upon all that, uh, interventions they were mm -hmm. giving him as a preemie um he got to a point and uh, his oxygen started coming down oh, wow. coming down even uh when they cranked it up it was still coming down so he wasn't doing well so um they decided to rush us to uh, uh presbyterian st luke mm -hmm. uh to do um uh, uh surgery kind of thing on his heart because at, at the first thought that hole or something will heal by yourself oh he had uh, a hole uh, in his heart yes something of that sort okay. will heal by yourself mm -hmm. through medications but none of that happened with all the medications so they had to rush us to do the surgery mm -hmm. so again as your viewers can see um those pictures mm -hmm. we went there and uh they did a heart surgery but before that he had a uh, to be fed through uh, his nose with all those tubes. 
But what happened was, uh, we get home and as a baby, he didn't know what was going on, so he would pull it out. Oh. So sometimes we get home, he pulls it out, mm -hmm. and then we have to rush back to the emergency room. Oh. Yeah, so we got to a point, he decided to put it in his stomach, that's the G-tube. Okay. So he was on it for a long time. He was on it for a long time, and uh, per human um, understanding and ability, they said all sort of stuff that he was going to be um, uh, epileptic, mm -hmm. but lots of stuff. But uh, glory be to God that uh, through or by his grace and uh, also the knowledge he gave to the medical mm -hmm. team, um, God through that helped him and uh, through prayers and uh, surgeries upon surgeries and therapies upon therapy, which he still does as of now, uh, speech, occupational, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so wow, that's what happened. Praise yeah. God. God is Hallelujah. good. Yes, he's been good. How old are you now, Jude? Ten. Uh, ten. Ten. Coming 11, September 7th. 11. That's a sharp suit for an 11 year old, by the way. <laughs> yep, it is. It is. It wow. Is. Wow. Yep. Well, you know, all glory to God. And um, I think through the seasons of life, He takes us in, you know, yes. just when we get to you know have the pleasure of sitting down with different different people with different stories yes, you know yes. we really do hope this is a place where we can glorify god and just mm -hmm. see his goodness you know yes. and pass it on to the next generation you know we don't know how long this channel is going to be around we don't know how long we're going to be around but um this is such a big deal and such a special day to yes. be able to say like here we are you know by the grace of god yes. that's such great news glory be to god <laughs> yes indeed Yes, indeed. Um, so now, I believe I promised our viewers a live session from Jude, um, just so we can, you know, make do. Like, I promise he really is, like, we're not, that was not edited. What you saw earlier, those clips were not edited at all. <laughs> that was not photoshopped, you know, video shopped, whatever shopped. I know, I know. <laughs> we have the real deal here. So we'd love to treat you guys to um, a song that he has for us. And he's also joined with Adeyemi Adebayo, our very special, um, you know, visionary behind all of this, who That's we affectionately call, yeah, oh, <laughs> grandfather, yes. yeah, who we affectionately call Uncle Yemi. Um, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be showing that now.
All right. All right. Well, you guys got to see it for yourselves. Jude, thank you so much for treating us. You're welcome. Thank you, You're Uncle welcome. Yemi. It's my pleasure. It, thank you. Thank you. So for pleasure. more of his music, you can check out Jude Keys Official. It's the YouTube channel. I believe you have 100 or so videos so far on yes. there. And your subscribers are growing. Yes. Um, so check them out. Support. You know, we got to lift like up. Yeah. Subscribe, yep, like, and share. And share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, share with a friend. You know, all that good stuff. Because we really want to invest in, you know, young, talented individuals. Um, and also fellow believers, you know, we're, we're just so blessed to have you and to get to know you. So Amen. let's Thanks. support. Yeah. Also, glory be to God. you're so sweet. Thanks. <laughs> we can't say that enough. Glory be to God. Yes. Okay. Glory be to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, so I would also like to say, check out, uh, stay tuned with our um, other you know, interviewees that will be joining us and just other events that we have going on. There is a July 4th event um, coming up. And in the event that you don't catch this video in time for the July 4th, just go on our socials and follow us and you can see all the other good stuff that we do uh, through Zion Hills Ministry. Also, a uh, parting question. I was just curious. What are your musical goals? Uh, I just, hope you'll continue. Uh, right? just, just to like, just to like no, learn new instruments and stuff. Yeah, yeah and also uh, the vision is... Uh, uh, for him to get into music, so let's say after high school, maybe he can study music in the yeah, university. Yeah, study so music. Yeah, he can get into music, writing songs, writing okay. songs, singing, music yeah. production, everything. Because if you look at what he can do with programming his own music and everything on Progra his keyboard at home, programming my music, yeah. getting some songs Layers, together. Yeah. Yes, it's all okay. just by God's grace that He's granted him that uh, kind of talent. So that's yeah. What we're so at. yep. That is what we're looking at right now. <laughs> okay. So you're doing music production, a little bit of programming. Yeah. So dabbling into like, and you said other instruments. So like, kind of, you're broadening your like like your scope. bass, trumpet, I think, lead guitar. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so lots of lots lots more things than piano. Then yeah. uh, we're so glad to have you guys, Jude. Keep it up. Ah, you know thanks. you have people that are cheering you on and supporting you um we are excited for what the future holds and uh, we also want yeah. to thank you so much for your time and the opportunity and then thank uh, my pleasure. Uh, all the team uh, again pastor yemi mr sheena, sheena mm -hmm. mr Ines, everybody Ines. everybody, yeah. everybody. Fact, everybody. This is, we are so grateful and uh again we pray that the good lord bless and keep you guys and uh, may he make his face shine upon you guys greatly for the wonderful Amen. job Amen. you're doing all for free. I just can't understand it. And yeah, he God will bless you guys. You. Yeah, mm -hmm. he'll Amen. bless you guys so much Amen. that you'll never believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for next uh, the next episode coming up or the next event. Have a good one. Bye. Bye everyone.